Hey everyone! So I am here for everybody's favorite video of the month. It is my February book haul. Now this month I did pretty good as far as self-control goes. Um, this is probably the first month in like, I don't know how long, probably since I started my channel, that I did not place an order with Book Outlet. So this month was a month that I knew a lot of new releases that I was really anticipating for this year were coming out. So I saved my gift cards from Christmas to actually buy new hardcover books, which is a rarity for me. So I am really excited and let's get into the haul. So the first book that I picked up is Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. And I have not read this yet because I'm not ready to let go. This is a collection of all the little novellas and short stories that are related to the Lunar Chronicles. And ever since winter ended, I've been in a funk. So I was really excited when this came out, but now I'm just, I'm holding on to it and I'm just not reading it. I feel like I might read one story at a time. So this will take a while to get through, but it's so pretty and it matches all my other ones. I just love this series. So I just had to pick this up. The next book that I picked up is The Dark Days Club. And this is by Alison Goodman, who wrote Eon and Iona, which is one of my favorite duologies in YA, like of all time. And that's all she's come out with. And that came out in like, I don't know, probably like 2010 maybe? Probably even earlier than that. And it's been a long time since she's released a book. So I was very excited to hear about this. And it's very different from dragons and fantasy. Um, this is set in the 1800s in London. And it sounds pretty much like Buffy meets historical London, which is, that's enough to sell me on a book, to be honest. So I'm really excited to get into this. It just sounds great. I'm getting more into historical fiction. So this is going to be the best of all the worlds. It's going to be amazing. The next book that I picked up, I was not planning on getting, but it was the only copy in the store. And you know how that goes. I had like that little moment of panic where I was like, what if they don't get any more in? But then I was like, you're crazy, Chelsea but I grabbed it off the shelf anyway. But that book is Reign of Shadows by Sophie Jordan. I have already read this, so this will be in my wrap up. Um, I love Sophie Jordan. She wrote the Firelight series or trilogy, three books trilogy, that's a trilogy. But this is very much a Rapunzel retelling and I don't think anybody's addressed that and I don't know if it's supposed to be or not, but it's very much that. But I love Sophie Jordan. Her books are always really short, but they're really enjoyable. So stay tuned for my wrap up to hear my thoughts on this book. But look how pretty it is. It's beautiful. I, I had to have it. And the last new release of February that I picked up, don't worry, there's more books coming. But this is the last really big release that I was really looking forward to in February is Riders by Veronica Rossi. And I well, I mean, if you've watched my channel, you know that I have horses. So I mean, I was sold on the cover to begin with just because, you know, horse it's there. But um, Veronica Rossi wrote the Under the Never Sky series, which I actually just started reading. So I don't have opinion on her yet, but I've heard amazing things. But this book is supposed to be about a boy who has some near death experience or something and comes back to life, I guess. I don't know. But he turns into one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. That just sounds great. I love kind of really bizarre out there takes on familiar stories. So I'm really excited to see what she does with this. It just sounds great. And I'm excited. Now, while I was perusing the bookstore trying to decide which of those books to put down, hint, it was none of them. I bought all of them. I also went to the bargain section and they actually have some really good books in the bargain section right now. So I picked them all up. It was a very big bill for these books this month. But that's okay, because I had gift cards, so I paid for like almost none of these. It was amazing. But in the bargain section, I don't know why, but there was We All Looked Up by Tommy Wallach, and everybody is singing this book's praises from last year. I believe this was released sometime last year. But everybody says that this book is amazing, and it's one of those books that everybody should read. I don't know much beyond it, other than there's a meteor heading for Earth, so it's kind of everybody dealing with the idea of the end of the world before the end of the world happens which is a very interesting concept. So I'm kind of going off of everybody's reviews of this book and I grabbed it. So this next book may not be a shock for you guys and it's not nearly as exciting as the new releases, but they had Confessed by Colleen Hoover in the bargain section for $3.97. And I've already read this book. I already enjoyed this book, but Colleen Hoover books, I have a hard time paying full price for them just because they're books that I can read in one sitting and I really don't want to spend like $16 on it or whatever it is. But when I see them in the bargain section, I get them. And so far, they have consistently all been in the bargain section. So if you're ever looking to pick up 
new adult books, check there first because I guarantee you're gonna find something good there. So I picked this up and this next book I am pretty excited to have found and that is Bitter Blue by Kristen Kishore. Um, I have not read the Graceling series yet mainly because I think I want to binge read it. I've had the first book since I was like a, a wee little teenager and I just never got to it. I don't know why but I got the second one a couple years later so I'm just kind of continuing the trend of literally buying this trilogy over the course of like a decade or something. But I finally have all three in hardcover because this was like three bucks. So now I'm excited because I'm on a fantasy kick right now. So I might as well dive right into this series. So excited. These next two books go together and I have no clue what they're going to turn out to be. But I'm kind of excited to give them a try. But this is Artemis Awakening and Artemis Invaded. And these are by Jane Linskold. I have no idea who that is. I've never heard of that author, but A, I really like these covers. They're cool because when they go together, they make like this cool like animorph face thing going on with like a tiger and a person. I don't really know what to expect of these. They do not have amazing reviews. The synopsis sounded kind of cool though, so I kind of wanted to give them a shot. Um, this is the second one. Artemis Invaded is the second. The first one is the Awakening one. Um, all I know is that this is set on a planet, I believe, that its sole purpose is pleasure. So who knows where that's gonna go. Um, all I know, it's a terraform planet where like rich people go and it's designed for, I'm assuming, sexy times. I don't really know. So we're gonna see how this goes. If any of you have heard of these or have read them, please let me know what you think of them. They sounded kind of intriguing, so I picked them up when they were really cheap. Um, if nothing else, they're kind of cool looking on my shelf. So there's that. So that is it for my book haul. It was kind of an exciting one. It's not as many books as I normally would haul, which is probably a good thing, but it was a lot of new exciting hardcover books, which I don't normally buy that often. So yay. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys have an amazing night. I hope you guys are reading some amazing books and I will see you next time.